The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 25th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. We'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send that to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'll be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, if, if you're inside our Tigers, then well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show right now. You got the Dow up 200 points, 31,697 in the sprint. That's still about six tenths percent, a little over one percent for the S and P, or 41 points, one and a half percent for the Nasdaq 100, 178. Russell's up two and a half percent. That's 42 points, two and four tenths for the semis, 56 points. The trend is up one and a quarter percent, or 160 points. Gold's up six bucks. Silver's up eight pennies. Lights we crude up a buck fifteen. Natural gas up 23 cents and a 30 treasury now up over two points. She's trading out at one twenty thirteen. Lead the charge. Dollar-wise, the upside, you got MedPace Holdings up 58 bucks, Mercado Libre up 40 bucks, Chipotle up 31, Shockwave Medical 21, Azimil Holdings 19 to the downside. It's Crown Holdings off 17 bucks, that's 20%. Brown and Brown off uh, about eight dollars or twelve percent. Synopsis is off seven bucks and change, down two percent. Cadence Design down nearly seven bucks. That's four percent to the downside. So we got some movers and we've got some shakers. But let's begin our day by taking a look at what's going on inside the markets. We'll do that by starting out with our daily equity future contract. So in the case of the ES Mini, what we have out here is a A to B equal CD pattern that is underway. Price is running into, now this doesn't show you a weekly profile, but when we took a look at the, uh, during the market update, that weekly profile level is up at the 38, 38, 50 level. Price is trading above that. Now it's a weekly uh, uh, profile. It's only Tuesday, so it'll matter more at week's end, but still price is trading over that resistance level. So that suggests that the A to B equals CD pattern that we see here for the ES Mini is likely going to fulfill itself. Now, the one to one price projection level is 39.16. And that'll run right into a descending trend line as well. The retracement here, only a 49% retracement on that C to D leg that typically leads to more than a one to one move to the upside. 11.272 expansion level is at the 39.91 area. Now, in the case of the NQ, it too is forming an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. The A point, October 13th high. The B point, the high, uh, the low, I should say, from October 13th. The B point is the high from the 18th, and the C point is the low from the 21st. One to one. Let's pull this over like this, just a tad. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try that. There we go. The one to one on the uh, A to B equal CD would get us up into the 11, 882 level. 52% retracement here. Odds favor more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. 12140 is the nup. If we take a look at where is the weekly profile level for the NQ, the weekly profile is up at the 12236 level. So let's go back to the uh, a to B equals CD, 12,236. Well, that would take us all the way up to the nearly to the 1 to 1.618. A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. If we take a look at the Dow, 
can't really draw a uh, an A to B equals CD pattern in. Someone might say, well, you could, Stevie, because you could use as your A point, the low of October 13th, the B point, the high of uh, October 18th, and the C point, just use the low of last Friday. The problem is, that's also a higher high than the trading session from October 18th. If you're really going to do A to B equals CD patterns correctly, you'd be using the same candle for the high and the low. And not that you can't do that. It's just not really cool. We don't need it to be cool. We can just go over to the index ETF and take a look at the uh, Dow Diamonds there. We've got a clear A to B equals CD pattern. It's been confirmed from a volume standpoint. The volume on Friday, as the B point was taken on, was 5.3 million shares. The B point had 4.6 million shares. So it does suggest a further move higher. The one-to-one -one price projection is 323. More likely than not, this heads higher than 323. Why? Because that retracement was only a 30% retracement. That typically suggests that price will move into a uh, expansion on that C to D leg. The expansion or the first expansion level would get you up to 329. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, let's go back, take a look at the daily equity future contract out here. Price right now taking out a descending trend line. Uh, this does have an A to B equal CD pattern that we can put in here. The A point being the low, that's pretty easy to see. That's the low from October the 13th out there. The B point, whoop, that didn't take. That didn't take either. All right, let's try this once again. Let's get the A point in there. Let's get our B point, which is going to be in that descending trend line, October 18th high, and then Friday as the uh, C point of this A to B equals CD. The one-to-one -one price projection level would get us up to the 1845 level. The one-to-one point two seven two will get us up to 1886. Now, that's what's going on. We take a look at the daily time frame charts. Let's switch over, uh, switch charts, go over to our eight panel multi time frame charts, get a feel for what's going on on the intraday time periods for the ES mini. And we'll begin by taking a look at the uh, 30 minute time frame chart. It's the only one that has a valid, potential valid topping signal and that could be negated in the next 17 minutes. So, oops, let me try to actually do this so we can actually read the chart. There we go. So, Pull this back a bit. So when I say it has the only valid topping pattern out here, as we came on the air at 11 o'clock, what the ES Mini on a 30-minute time frame did was it confirmed a uh, bearish engulfing candle. That means it engulfed the body of the candle, engulfed the prior candle. That was with the Rhodes momentum indicator signal triggered. Now, price was above the top of its profile, above its green oscillator and change line. So even though it generated a bearish pattern, a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top, the overall message was actually neutral because price was well above those two key levels of potential support. Now, if price closes above that high in the next 17 minutes, that does means as we come to 1130, that high is 38.51 and a quarter, then that pattern will get negated. That says price continues to move higher. We take a look at the other intraday time period charts out here, 10 minute, 15 minute, 60 minute, 120 minute, we don't have any kind of bottom or topping patterns out here. In fact, the 120 minute chart, as it came into the 10 o'clock time frame, uh, negated its bearish pattern out there. The 240 minute chart did the same thing out here, it negated a TD9 count top. You know what that means? That means that price is likely to add higher. You're in bar number seven today on the daily time frame. You've got the A to B equals CD patterns that we just took a look at. So price should continue to move higher. And that's especially true. If that spot politics continues to come down, and there again, you want to watch that 50-day um, that, uh, exponential moving average, which is currently priced at 28.52. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 back, folks. Uh, all the U.S. equities trading to the upside. All the sectors inside the S&P 500 are trading the upside. Let's go to our first question. This one coming in from Dan F. And Dan says, uh, Steve, is now a good entry into FCX? Dan from New York City. So one of the first things that we like to do is I want to make sure that you and Dan know that when you trade FCX, that's the bottom portion of the screen here, that you're also really trading the Aussie currency out here. So you want to be able to take a look at it. You know, if we can look at uh, ties typically form on the same day or very close to it, maybe it's off by a day because of the currency pairs. Low is the same thing out there. So you really got to get both things correct out here. If we go, so we're going to start here and take a look at uh, the uh, euro, the uh, euro, the Australian dollar versus the U.S. So let's take a look at that. See if we can find some kind of bottom signal out here, perhaps a topping pattern. And what stands out to me, Dan, as we take a look at these charts, is really the weekly time frame. So on a weekly basis, the Australian dollar formed a TD nine count bottom. That pattern completed last week. This suggests when a bottoming pattern like this forms, that what price should do, this is the Australian dollar, it should go target its oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 0.6474 out there. Um, and I would say that is a very likely outcome if price is able to take out yesterday's high, if it closes above yesterday's high. Yesterday's high in the Australian dollar uh, was uh, 0.6411. So if we close above that, it's just going to signal that price should continue to move higher, the Australian dollar, that is, with resistance being in that 6.6474-ish area out there. So that's the first thing. Now, what we'll do here is we're going to switch these charts from the Australian dollar to FCX. But in the meantime, while this takes time to populate here, I'm going to switch back to our black background charts, where we've got three time frames, daily, weekly, and monthly. And what that will show us very clearly are the market profiles. So when we take a look at the weekly time frame, we're going to stick with the weekly for the moment because your specific question is now, and that means 11.20 a.m. on October 25th, a good time to enter FCX. I don't like to enter anything as trading in the resistance. We don't know whether resistance will fall or not. What we do know when it comes to freeport McMoran is that it has been consolidating with inside its weekly profile for quite some time. Takes us back into the July time frame out there. And that's really between the range, Dan, of 2668 and 3233. You're trading at 3172 right now. So I would be hard-pressed, 
even if we got a great buy, buy, uh, signal on the daily time frame to suggest that you enter a long trade now. Instead, what you'd like to see is some type of pullback or retracement. So you've got Freeport McMoran with resistance at 3233. Now it's only Tuesday, so it's really hard to do a mathematical extrapolation as to what the volume is going to be on a weekly base. Last time we were up here back on August, August 22nd, that had 76 million shares. Uh, last week was 95 million shares. You're 24 million shares for the first day and a half. Seems like pretty good volume out there. But let's just look at the daily time frame. The daily time frame has a belief it has a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The B point out here, we'll draw that in momentarily, is the trading day from October 4th. That high was 3099. Volume there, 17 million shares. Passed a few days ago with a wide ranging bar. It was passed with 27 million shares, so 10 million more shares out there. So the A to B equals CD pattern out here, Dan, looks like this. The A point being the low from the trading session of September 23rd. The B point being the high of October 4th. And the C point being the low from October 13th. The one-to-one -one price project, now this was a 0 .70, 0.70 B to C retracement. That typically means, more likely than not, this won't do more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. Now, I, I pause on that a little bit because of the way that that B point of that A to B equals CD was taken out on Friday. Wide-ranging bar, a massive volume out there. Nonetheless, we've seen a bit of a stalling out here. So it looks like freeport McMoran will target the 32.33 to 32.46 level out there. And no, I wouldn't suggest that you enter a long trade now. Instead, you're going to want to watch some type of pullback, some type of intraday pattern. For example, maybe on the 30-minute chart, I just pulled this over here. We don't have any kind of pattern such as that as we speak. Um, so, But that's what you'd really want to be looking for. Maybe this would be nothing more than price pulling back to test support on a daily time frame. Support on the daily time frame will be down at 29.67. You don't see that on this chart here. That would be the oscillator and change. And well, I'll switch those charts. Let's just switch over there. That way you can see it. Maybe you're listening on Tiger TV or maybe you're inside the Tiger's Den and you can just simply grab these charts here. So on the daily time frame, you'll see that the Support area could be old resistance first, the top of its daily profile, 3016. Below that would be the oscillator and change line. That would be 2967. And if you were fortunate enough, Dan, to get a move below that, it's a bullish structured profile. And then your buy zone would be between 2787 and 2879. And that would be especially true if price was pulling back on lighter volume. And when I say lighter volume, really referring to the uh, swing point that we use as our C point. For the A to B equals CD, that was a trading day of October 13th. That had 16 million shares, so you'd want to be pulling back with less than 16 million shares out there. So I hope that helps you out, Dan. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. And you have a terrific Tuesday as well. No other requests at the moment. I'm just going to make sure here, refresh the, uh, yeah, no other requests that I see, either inside the Tiger's Den or uh, inside uh, or, or by email out there. So that says Stevie's got free reign to do whatever he wants. Of course, what I really want to do is I want to do what you want. So let's take a look at our our overall market update, see what we've got out here to take a look at. So there's a couple things that we can uh, look at here, clearly. We've already taken a look at the equity futures enough. Um, let's take a look at uh, natural gas and the 30-year treasury. Let's start by taking a look at the 30-year treasury. So which screens are we on? We're on the white screen. So let's go ahead and put in the 30-year treasury <laughs> bond out here, which is showing a, a bullish reversal candle. That's going to confirm at least a buy the D point pattern out there. So let's try to get a feel for where this might be headed to. So now you can see that you've also got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Now that pattern is very easy to see on these charts here. That's shown by these black diagonal lines telling us that the market is stretched and it's stretched with less, um, with, uh, less uh, energy to the downside. And what we wait for is you wait for a bullish reversal candle. Well, you're getting that as we speak right now. Now, it's only 11.25 in the morning. Anything can happen during the day. But as of 11.25 a.m., price is trading just above that red oscillator and change line. You've got a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom. That suggests a move up to the 124-ish area, 124.07 to be exact. That would be the bottom of the profile. Now, look, if you're looking at the black digits on the right-hand side for Ninja Trader, the way that it calculates these is more of a percentage thing. So you've got to do the math on it. Uh, because you've got uh, 30 seconds out here. So uh, it's a 124.07 is the bottom of the profile. The real level where a counter trend move would find resistance would be now I've got two different sets of profiles. I have a profile out here 
that's bearish in structure. I have a profile on my black background charts. I'm not showing those right now. That is bullish in structure. And so it'd be the center that I'd be watching there, which is at the 125.11 area. The weekly chart has a TD nine count bottom pattern. That's in place out here. I don't know why I don't have the oscillator awesome because uh, there's not enough data out there. So the 30-year Treasury, let's look at a 30-minute time frame chart. Now we've got a bunch of folks that trade TLT, TBT, and so forth. If we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, this is topped with a TD9 count top. That top came in at 1030. That was tested at 11 o'clock. Price closed below the high of that bar following bar number nine at 126.8. But this is still a neutral signal out here. Price is above that green oscillator and change line. However, you get a close above the high of the day out here. The sun, a 30-minute chart. That's at the 12018 level. That says that the uh, price should head up to 12109. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's up 240, S&P 45, NASDAQ 100, about 200 points. We're going to take a look at the euro. Uh, we've got the euro U.S. dollar. This is for Peter inside the Tiger's Den. So, Peter, we can see that the euro is trading above yesterday's high. That's a bullish signal. That suggests that price is headed back to par, the B point of a potential A to B equals CD to the upside. And that's at uh, 0.99999 out there. So a close above a close above a dollar, uh, a close at a dollar or more could trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That would look like this. Our A to B point, pretty easy to identify. I'm just simply, Peter, going to move this over to the C point out there just to give us an approximation where that would take us to. And inside the euro, that would be at about the 1.008 
1.009 area. If price can get above that, there is a TD9 count breakdown resistance level at 1.02. So it does look like the euro is going to continue to rally out here. I don't have any really good signals on the weekly time frame other than prices above its red oscillator change line. So that says more counter trend move to the upside could unfold. If we take a look at a 30 minute time frame chart here for the euro, just looking for any kind of intraday signal, what do we have? Uh, you do have a uh, sell the D point pattern. So let's go ahead and draw that in. Your A point down here at about 9 o'clock in the morning. Looks like October the 21st, 2nd, sometime around there. I'm just going to take that uh, A to B leg, move this over to the C to D leg here, or really where the C point is out there. Uh, that gets us to higher price, so that is not completed. No, that gets us back up into that uh, par level out there on the interday time period. So I don't really have a topping signal. We do have a dark cloud candle cover that uh, formed out here at 1030. But, Peter, because it's not at the completion of a pattern out here, um, I don't uh, really uh, I don't really uh, see a uh, top. But if price does close above that dark cloud cover, that's at 0 0.99768. That's just simply going to add to the evidence that the euro wants to continue to rally. And obviously, with the euro being the largest currency in the basket of the U.S. dollar index out there, that would suggest that the uh, dollar would continue to pull back. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks much for the request out there. Sharky inside the Tiger's Den has a position in the biggie. B-I-G-C is the uh, ticker symbol out here. So we're going to go ahead and get those charts populated. B-I-G-C is, drum roll, Johnny, is, uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it isn't uh, anything out there. What was it that you actually wanted to take a look at? No, B-I-G-C, it comes up. Okay, for some reason, I've got a real slow system. Interesting. Okay, so I don't know what B-I-G-C is. It is Biocommerce Holdings, and it is taking out a uh, swing point out here. The prior swing point was a trading day of, which was also uh, thwarted by the top of its daily profile, bearish and structure, that is. That was a trading day of October 18th that did volume of 593,000 shares. You're already, today, this morning, at 301,000 with two hours of trading. So, Sharky, this has got a confirmed A to B equals C, D to the upside. Let's draw that in on this white background chart out here. The A to B point is going to look like this, which was also a wave seven bottom out there. That's letter G. That's courtesy of the uh, Chapman wave, just a small portion of the Chapman wave, that is. So one to one. Oops, that didn't work. Let's pull this over like this. One to one, not much further from where we're trading about right now. I don't, wow, what the heck is going on with my system out there? The NSA must be back inside my system. About $14.73 or so would be the one-to-one -one, uh, level uh, where this would likely head to. I don't have any kind of confirmed bottom pattern on a weekly time frame. I don't have anything. I'll take this back. No, we've got a TD9 count bottom from the monthly time frame and a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The TD9 count confirmed on May and May of 2022. The Rhodes Mintum indicator pattern confirmed in August of 2022 out there. But that says that the low has to hold. And that low is $12.71. If you get it close below that, probably not a good idea to be long uh, bio commerce holdings out there. But it does look like you've got a confirmed A to B equals C to D to the upside. It could do more than a one-to-one -one price projection. I'm just showing you the one-to-one -one out there. I'll go ahead and get those numbers for you on my other screen out here with regard to its expansions beyond that. The one to 1 1.272, 1532, 1610 would be the point 1.618 expansion of that pattern out there. So hope that helps you out. That was Sharky. Let me see. What did the question actually say? Steve, I currently hold position in BIGC and are looking to see what type of upside strength it has. Where do you see resistance? Thanks in advance. So the resistance question really comes from the weekly profiles because price is trading right now today above the daily resistance level out there. So your next area of resistance, yeah, we, we did the measuring of the A to B equals CD. That doesn't mean that price stops there. You have to wait for a bearish reversal candle to confirm some type of sell the D point pattern. In this case here, it would be a Gartley sell pattern. When we look at resistance, though, price above the oscillator and change line for its daily and weekly time frame. So your next level of resistance is going to be the weekly profile levels, the bottom of which is 1517, the center of which, because this is a bullish structure profile, price has been below it for more than two consecutive bars. That is where a counter trend move, if that's all this is, would find resistance. And that's at the price point of 1590. 
If you get it close above 1590, you're likely headed to 1959 out there. So, Sharky, I hope that gives you all the information that you uh, are looking for. If it doesn't, uh, please just simply write back to me, and I'll get that information. So that's ticker symbol B-I-G-C. A quick uh, check on the uh, email request out here. We've got one from Hector and Patty. And Hector wants to take a look at Caterpillar. C-A-T is the ticker symbol. Hector goes on to say happy taco and tequila. Two for Tuesday. Now, that's a real thinker out there. I like that thought. Cat, on a weekly basis, where do you draw an A to B equals CD pattern? Okay, well, that being the case, because of that specific question, we're going to go to our black background charts out here to take a look at Caterpillar. So we'll get that up on our screen momentarily. He's asking about the weekly chart out here. So let's go take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Let's expand it out. And the question is, where do you draw an A to B equals CD to the upside? You don't. There isn't one that is present if you're talking about the current time period out here. There is no weekly A to B equals CD upside. Instead, there's really a weekly A to B equals CD to the downside. In the case of Caterpillar, this is in the weekly time frame chart. Let's go ahead and put that pattern in here. The A point, that's easy to identify. And that's going to be the high of May 31st. The B point is a little bit more complicated. Why? Well, what you need to do, let's just say, for example, Hector and Patty, you are choosing as the B point to the A to B equals CD to the downside as a low from September 20th. That would be a logical place to put it. The problem is then the C point that you would use or have to use would be the one from the week of January 17th. Well, wait a minute, Stevie. Why wouldn't you use the swing point high from April 14th, April 18th out there? Actually, that is the correct C point, but the B point has to change because there was a lower low after September 20th. So the actual B point, and I'm just having this conversation with Hector in my head, that just tells you how crazy I am. Oh, I see I didn't have the black background charts on the screen, but we do now. So again, the A point out here, that's a beautiful thing. I go through that entire dissertation and nobody can follow along. God. What a uh, brain fart that one was. And that was a stinker, too, by the way. Again, let's just go over that. So the A point, easy to identify. The B point, somebody, most people might have chosen September 20th. But then to select the C point, if you had gone all the way over here, which is the correct C point, the high of any retracement in the pattern after that, uh, after that A point would have to be April 18th. Well, then you've got to find the lowest low prior to that. And that turns out that that lower low was from the trading day of February 21st. That's your B point. Your C point out here, we've uh, gone through that. That's going to be the high from April 18th. Well, you can see that this formed a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the downside. So it did complete that pattern with this Three River Morning Star. But no A to B equals CD on a weekly basis to the upside. So, Hector, I know I was bloviating quite a bit there. We get back from this break. Let's take a look at the daily time frame chart. Maybe there's a daily A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the charts here for Caterpillar. This is for Hector and Patty. And we were looking at the weekly chart before I went to that break. I said I may, and he was looking for an A to B equals CD pattern on the weekly chart. It's just not there. We haven't had a retracement to create the uh, B to, uh, the B to C leg retracement out there. I said that before we went to that break. Well, maybe the daily has an A to B equals CD pattern. Turns out it really doesn't out here. Now, in order to generate an A to B equals CD pattern, and I just hate doing this. So the A point, that's easy. That's the low from September 27th. But for the B point, I'd have to use the high from October 13th, and the C point would be the low from October 13th. So we can use that. It's just not the preferred method out here. That B point had volume of 3.7 million shares. It was passed with 3.5. It was passed with 2.9. So it's not like it's confirmed. That doesn't mean that the pattern doesn't complete. But the one to one price projection here would get you up to the 197 level. Instead, the pattern that is present at the moment, Patty and Hector, is the TD9 count. So let's go take a look at it. We'll go over to those daily time frame charts out here. And you can see that today is going to be bar number seven. Now, price is taking on a, a prior swing point from uh, September 12th. That only had 1.9 million shares. You're already at 900,000 shares for the day. That's this little swing point right there. So uh, price should go uh, complete that one-to-one -one price projection level, get up into the uh, swing point from back in uh, August 26th of 2022, up towards 200.37 or that's the high, the low of that candle is 191.73. Well, we're already into that candle session. So, uh, and that had volume of what? 2.5 million, we're at 900,000 for two hours. It's gonna be close. Uh, but if price does close inside that swing point with volume, it did not, it did not uh, do that yesterday with volume, but if it does close with volume, that would then signal that price is likely to test that high at 200.37. So that's the Caterpillar chart. You wanted to look at IWM as well. And your question was IWM next resistance level on a weekly, please. So let's get the IWM charts here populated, our white background charts, see what shows up from a resistance standpoint, if anything, for Hector and uh, Patty out there. Uh, as this is populating, I've got my other charts up. Uh, there we go. You can see that price is trading into its bearish structured weekly profile. That's a zone. And that zone is between the price point of 177.31 and 180.83. On a daily time frame, what you'll notice is price is now above the center of its bullish structured daily profile. It is above uh, what is wave number B. It would also be the B point of an A to B equals CD. That's the trading day of October 18th. That did volume on that day of 34 million shares. So far today, you're at 14 million. So it does appear that you're going to have the volume to take that out. That would give you an IWM A, B equals CD pattern with a one-to-one -one price projection above the top of its daily profile because the one-to-one -one would get you to 182.98. But you got resistance at 181.10. 180.83, that's from the daily and the weekly charts. And then your final PS day resistance, that's the TD9 
breakdown level. That's at 184.69. So you've got a confirmed IWM A to B equals CD pattern. That's what's taking place today. That will be the outcome as long as price closes above that B point, which it's trading above right now. That's 177.29. The price is trading into a resistance zone on the weekly time frame, so it could get a little bumpy out there. That bump, I don't expect that bump to take place anytime soon. In fact, the uh, you don't have the fasten seatbelt sign on as we speak right now, but there is turbulence ahead. And that turbulence ahead could take place anytime between noon and 1 p.m. Why? Because you're in bar number eight right now. Bar number nine to complete needs to close above bar number five. We're just looking at a 30-minute chart out here for the IWM. And that close was uh, 177.70. So as long as the uh, bar that completes between 12 and 12.30 is above that level, you'll get a confirmed TD9 count top. And that says you should get a short-term top in the IWM that forms, in essence, between 12 and 1 p.m. And then that would then signal a retracement. That retracement likely targeted in sauce letter and change line. That's currently printed at 176.09, but that's not necessarily the number. You gotta wait to see what that number is looking like at about the one o'clock time frame. So Hector and Patty, I hope that helps answer all of your questions with regard to the IWM, with regard to Caterpillar. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in, and you have a good two for Tuesday as well. Another question coming in inside the uh, Tiger's Den, and that's from Alan. And Alan wants to take a look at ticker symbol M-A-R-A, -A, and he is asking, or she is asking, no, it's Alan, he is asking the question, uh, how much upside before a pullback out there? So let's get those charts for Mara. M-A-R-A, -A, again, is the uh, ticker symbol, and Mara is Marathon Digital Holdings. When these screens populate here, we're going to see that uh, your question was how much more upside before a pullback. Well, you got two different patterns out here. Right now, price is trading above the top of its daily profile and a prior swing point. Well, that prior swing point had volume. This is October 6th swing point. had volume of 16 million shares. You're already at 11 million shares today. So that's being taken out. It's trading into another swing point. From September 12th, that had volume of 19 million. Again, you're at 11 million. So price is trading to that. That suggests that Mars should go tag that high. Maybe take it out. 1515 is the number. But in order to do that, Alan, price has to take out its weekly bearish structured profile resistance level. And that's at 1476. 14, I think that's at 14.78. So the answer to your question, how much more upside before a pullback, I'm giving you how much more upside. I'm not saying that that guarantees that we're going to have a pullback just yet, but the upside or your resistance battleground is 14.78. Above 14.78, then we're looking at 16.67 as the next area, and above 16.67, then we're looking at about 19.50 to 24.84 out there. So that's what ticker symbol M-A-R-A -A is doing I hope that helps you out with regard to Marathon Digital Holdings. Next question coming in from David H. And David wants to take a look at ticker symbol LRCX. Uh, is that Lamb Research out there? LRCX? LRCX. Doesn't matter what it is, but we're going to get that populated. The question goes on to read like this. Hey, Steve, does it look, well, we know it's Lamb Research now. Does it look like Lamb Research will hit between 395 and 405 area by Friday? You've got the 370 calls, David in Panama City. So here's what I can share with you. Brand new weekly profile. You got a nice weekly TD9 count bottom and uh, price is trading into the resistance zone because it's bearish in structure that creates a zone. And that zone is between the price point of specifically 377.49 and 393.06. And your question was about 405. Well, price is going to have to take out 393.06 in order to get to that 405. And I'm not referring to the 405, you know, in California. If we look at the daily time frame chart, your next battle is going to be the TD9 count breakdown level. Now, this did form a TD9 count bottom. It wasn't a valid TD9 count bottom, meaning you wouldn't trade off of it, but it did instead form a road's momentum indicator bottom, that big old bullish engulfing candle. Okay, but even in the making of a TD9 count, even if you're not using the TD9 count from a top or a bottom signal, what you can use is its breakout and breakdown levels. And here we've got the breakdown level at 388.66. So, Dan, I can't answer that question for you, but the stock charts can. If price closes above 388.66, then it's 393.06. If price goes above 393.06, then absolutely it can get to 405. Now, to do it by Friday, boy, 
I'm just not even close to being in that category of people that can answer that question for you. But what I can do is tell you where the battles are. And then from there, you can make your decisions out. You're on a 30 minute chart here for LAM research. I don't have any kind of a topping pattern present at the uh, moment. So this should continue to move higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. Uh, Dow's up 282, S&P's up 52, NASDAQ 218, and the Russell is up 49. That's about a little less than 1%, 1 and 3 tenths, 1 and 9 tenths, and 2.8% to the upside. Let's go to our final question of the day. This is coming in from Nick A. Nick writes in, says, good morning, Steve. Would you go over BA, that is Boeing? Those are the charts that you should be seeing on the screen as we speak right now. And... Uh, uh, if we take a look at the uh, daily time frame, you'll see. So, well, the question goes like this. Would you go over BA, TD9, entry point for a long position? Thanks, advance. Have a great day. Well, you said TD9, and today is going to generate a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top could extend itself through tomorrow and complete the pattern then. Whichever the high is, whether it's today or tomorrow, that's going to be the key high that Nicholas, if price closes above, is going to signal, if it did close above, would signal a strong momentum move to the upside for Boeing. And then its next upside target would be 155.19. The reason why we use 155.19 is one, because it's a TD9 count breakdown level. Two, because price is above both the daily and the weekly profile levels out there. And so that becomes a likely price target. Now, the weekly or the monthly chart 
has its oscillator and change line at 150.91. So that's another little resistance level. But you're up towards where you could see a turn inside of Boeing, and you're specifically looking for an entry area. So we wouldn't have you enter when you're at a TD9 count, which says that you could get a top between today and tomorrow. If we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, look if there's any kind of early indication of a TD9 count top. The answer is, well, possibly. What do you mean possibly, Steve? Oh, well, as we come to the 12 noon session out here, you're going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. That says that by uh, 1 p.m., Boeing could generate a TD9 count top and then suggest at least a small retracement. That retracement would be about 142.64. But I think that, uh, Nick, you're looking for something larger than that. So I'd just simply be patient with Boeing, but watch it for the next couple of days because if price does negate its daily TD9 count, and I'm assuming that that will go ahead and form today, complete tomorrow, then that would be telling you about a strong upward momentum move. Folks, stay tuned. You've got some great programming lined up. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Please do me a favor. Have a terrific Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.